What's up guys? My name is Jacob, better known as by Jacob Paris. I'm a full-time freelancer and graphic designer, and I've partnered with Adobe on an eight-part series to teach you everything you need to know about turning your digital designs into real, tangible, physical art with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Fresco. Today's our last episode, and it's very bittersweet, but it's gonna be a really good one. We've gone through the process of conceptualizing, coloring, vectorizing, mocking up, and everything in between. But today we're gonna review what we created and talk about how you can take it even further. So enough of an intro, let's hop into it. If you missed any of the previous episodes, a lot of it was talking about the conceptualization and coming up with the actual idea of the design, as well as how we can apply it to physical products. And today we got those products back. If you didn't see the previous episode, we set up our art to be sent out to a local print shop and we got some stickers made as well as a poster. I went to that print shop today, I picked up my products, and I've gotta say, I am super happy with how they turned out. In the poster, I feel like they absolutely nailed the colors. They feel super contrasted and really high quality. And that's the benefit of sending them high quality PNGs because you get these results like this with really high quality prints and colors that read just super well. I also got stickers of two characters. These were three inch stickers, die cut, and printed at the shop. And I've gotta say, I love how the colors turned out on these as well as the shape themselves. You can see compared to our mock-ups, they're very, very close along with the size of the outline. And I think for both of them, they just look super high quality and they're exactly what I was looking for. And honestly, they weren't even that expensive too. So now that we have our products and we've created our art, what else can we do with it? Well, it doesn't just end at the design process or the production process. You can also promote your art. And I'm gonna show you three simple ways that I love to promote my art on all socials or just to your friends. So let's hop over into Adobe Express. So here over in Adobe Express, there's a lot of different options to create promotional assets or just aesthetically pleasing Instagram posts. I like to start just with a blank canvas by going over to the plus sign and clicking on the square because we are gonna be posting this on Instagram. And what we can do is we can go over to your stuff, go into our libraries, and under my libraries, we can actually add some more assets. You can see I already added some assets in here before for a previous video, but by clicking here, I have access to all of my assets that I exported in the previous video. So let's go ahead and import those in. I decided to import the high quality PNGs because they're just a little bit easier to work with, especially for this project. Now we can start messing around with our setup. I went ahead and copied over one of the colors that I was using in my original design. So I'll just paste that over. And this is gonna be the color of our back. So what I can do is go over to my elements. Let's click on this simple square. And let's size this up to our artboard. Express is extremely similar to most Adobe products, but honestly kind of even simpler and it's free, which is a great place to start in my opinion, especially if you're not experienced with Adobe products it can definitely help you get more experience. So we'll click on this square and we'll go ahead and change the color to that swatch that we just saved, which was our background to our original design. And let's go ahead and just drag and drop our characters in this design. You'll see we have a layers panel over here that we can adjust accordingly, but for right now, we'll just focus on getting all of these assets in here. And there's a few options that we have in here. We can either add some effects to change the color of the character. We can do some adjustments if we don't like how the character is set up. What I want to mess around with is the animation. I think the animations are a great way to make your characters pop and can be a fun way to add more details. So for instance, with this character over here, we can go down to our animation and there's a few different options. There's a loop in animation, a loop out animation, and then just a regular loop that constantly goes. So say we mess around with this jitter, we can go in and we can change the speed of it, the intensity of it, and go from there. Same with this spin. This is, might be a little too much for what we're trying to do, but you can do things like this, which I think is very funny, or this yo-yo that I like a lot. I think maybe we'll stick with this fun little wiggle. We'll maybe make that even faster. Perfect. And you'll notice that we'll have this timeline that's about five seconds long with our effect there. So if we click on another character, go to our animations, go to our loop, and choose another one, like breathe. When we take our cursor head and put it to the front and click play, these will happen at the same time. So now that you see the general idea of working with animations in Adobe Express, I'm gonna import some more assets in and see if I can make something really cool.
So after a little bit of work, if we click play, we have a simple animation with a lot of movement that is gonna be much more interesting on an Instagram timeline than just a static image. I love using Adobe Express specifically for applications like this because I love making my characters move and dance around and it just adds a little bit more to it in my opinion. Another really easy way to promote your products is to take actual photos of your products with nice backgrounds or kind of set up in a really aesthetic way. If I'm doing stickers, I love to throw them on some water bottles because we have a million in the house and I just love sticker bombing things anyways. And for posters, especially with things that have anything to do with outdoors, I like to take photos of them either in the garden or near some other groceries that we may have purchased. You really don't have to go too out of the way with it. You can kind of do whatever is up to your comfort, but I always prefer this over mock-ups, especially because you have them in hand. And I just think real photos look great. The last and most important thing that you could do, if you want to promote your products, you can boot up Premiere Pro and make a tutorial video about your entire process. And don't gatekeep either. I think the best part about creating is sharing your experience and sharing your knowledge. The more people creating, the better. But that wraps up our eight part series with Adobe. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun doing this. I'm so thankful to Adobe for the opportunity to let you guys peek into my creative process and hopefully you learned something with all of this. I love creating and I always have, but the one thing I love more than creating is seeing other people create and seeing other people be inspired. So if you were inspired by this video or if you came up with anything cool from some of my tips, make sure to leave a comment down below or shoot me a message on any of my socials. If you made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for watching the video and thank you Adobe again for the opportunity and hopefully I will see you guys again soon. Bye.